News 12 Now's Kay Blevins introduces us to those working to make a difference in your community with Kay. Brought to you by Zaxby's. Welcome back to News 12 Now at 530. And some of your community news today, school is out, the kids are home. Are you looking for something fun for the kiddos to do? Well, how about something right outside your back door? And joining us now to tell us all about tourism right here in Chattanooga is Miss Hannah Hammond. How are you? Hi, good. How are you? Always good to see you. Thanks yes. for being here. Oh, thanks for having me. First of all, there's so many things here in the scenic so city many that families can participate in and check out during the summer months. Yes, we have all the best attractions. Of course, we have Rock City and the aquarium, the zoo, we have the selfie museum, the, the pinball museum, everything you can think of here. Of course, we have the beautiful outdoors. So we have our natural beauties as well that we can go rock climbing, swimming in the blue holes, hiking to the waterfalls. So something for everyone. And gas is so expensive right now. We all know folks. So you can do something right here in the Tennessee Valley and really enjoy time with your friends and family. Yes, absolutely. And we have everything for all ages too. If, you, if you're coming with a family or if you know, you're know you young and single and just want to have fun with your friends, we have you know tons of restaurants always opening. We have tours, um, some tours that I want to go on. I haven't been on yet. Um, and we've actually on our website have uh, created some walking tours that people can do just on their own time to make sure they see everything here in the scenic city. Absolutely. Chattanooga has been named the hidden gem of Tennessee and one of the 10 friendliest cities in 2020. Yes. Tell yes. us about that. Yes. Yeah, so, you know, we are a hidden gem, but more and more people are hearing about us, which is fabulous. But, you know, we really want to encourage our residents here to take advantage of what our city offers. And, you know, it is hard. We get in our daily routine and, you know, we kind of get sucked into that. But, you know, our city is amazing with so many offerings, so many events, especially during the summer um, that are free, you know, like nightfalls all summer, Pops on the River is coming back. So we have a ton to offer. You do have a ton to offer. And even coming back this summer, we were talking more about pops on the river. It is such an amazing event that takes place each and every year. Yes. We are so glad it's back now because yes. the pandemic is is now over. We're hoping yes for yes. a while <laughs> at least and we hope it's gone for good. But there's a lot of great things that you can do in the scenic city and oh, pops yeah. on the river is definitely one of them. Yes, absolutely. And of course, nightfall and riverfront nights will be coming back in July. So, um, you know, just a ton of free things. And then, of course, we have some of the other, um, you know, places to go that you know may do have a, a small fee to get in but it's always worth it um, and of course throughout the summer we have ton of sporting events um, coming up so we'll, we'll be welcoming a lot of uh, teams coming in this summer as well all right and you also have the paralympics coming up yes absolutely so um, it was announced that we're going to be the host we're so excited this is such a prestigious event we're excited to host it. We're going to have between 60 and 90 athletes coming. They'll be here for a full weekend in July, um, and they'll be racing at Enterprise. Um, and it, it's just a really special thing for us to host. You know, 30% of these athletes are veterans. Um, and so we're, we're excited to have them and their fans come to Chattanooga. Absolutely. If folks are out there, they want to be part of some of these events. How do they learn more information? Yes, Hannah? they can just go to our website, visit Chattanooga.com. It's not just for tourists, it's for our residents too. Absolutely. Absolutely. Lots to do right here in the Tennessee Valley over the next summer months. Thank you so much, Hannah, for joining us this evening and giving us an update on what we can go check out right here in the scenic city. Thank you. All right. If you would like some more information about this interview, please go to our website. That's at WDEF.com.